वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला दिस टूडेज दिस मॉड्यूल इज ऑन प्रजेंटेशन ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल कंसनट्रेशन इन दिस मॉड्यूल आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन हाउ द कंसनट्रेशन आर एक्सप्रेस एनवायरमेंट हैज थाउजेंड्स ऑफ कंपाउंड ट्रेस कंपाउंड देयर कंसनट्रेशन आर वेरी स्मॉल एंड फॉर सच स्मॉल कंसनट्रेशन कैन बी एज लो एज वन इन टू टेन टू द पावर माइनस नाइन सो representation of such concentrations we use different kinds of symbols and units the objectives are to define exponents symbols based on si units to define molarity and molarity to define number density and mixing ratios to define parts per unit notations by volume part per notation by mass introduction exponents environmental concentration units molarity molarity number density mixing ratio parts per notation by volume ppm b ppv b pptv parts per notation by mass by mass mass by volume unit for trace gases in air microgram per meter cube microgram per meter cube concentration from microgram to ppb mass by volume unit for aqueous media milligram per liter or ppm concentration from one unit conversion of conversion from one unit to another pressure partial pressure in units and then there are for suggested readings a large number of chemical species are found in the environment to express their concentration it is necessary to specify the unit of measurement in general si units are used although some other units may be found occasionally in the literature the si unit for length is meter for mass is kilogram and for time is second these basic units are utilized to obtain derived units for physical parameters it must be pointed out that environmental chemistry is concerned mainly with air and aquatic chemistry and therefore the discussion on units is concerned mainly with these systems the very important point is first the exponents what is exponent mathematically exponent is the number of times a number is multiplied itself okay so this for example 2 is 2 is multiplied to itself by 4 times 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 it becomes 2 to the power 4 then 2 is called the base and 4 is called the exponent so exponent is the power of the number let us see for the sake of brevity is in writing and to avoid writing several zeros the exponents as given table are used one may come across the units of billion million etc hence following quantities equalities may be remembered tera is trillion giga is billion mega is million kilo is thousand hecto is hundred deca is ten environmental chemistry deals mainly with trace amounts of contaminants and pollutants in air and aqueous medium therefore the entire discussion is based on this this is the table in this table the values are given 10 to the power 12 is tera symbol is t capital t 10 to the power 9 is giga the symbol is g 10 to the power 6 is mega the symbol is m 10 to the power 3 is kilo the symbol is small k 10 to the power 2 is hecto small h 10 deca d 10 to the power minus what deci d now the smaller units of this sides 10 to the power minus 2 is centi 10 to the power minus 3 is milli 10 to the power minus 6 is micro the symbol is mu 10 to the power 9 is nano the symbol is nan and 10 to the power minus 12 is pico the symbol is p 10 to the power minus 15 is femto symbol is f and 10 to the power minus 18 is eto a normally in environmental chemistry we need symbols up to this point only environmental concentration the concentration of gaseous substances can be expressed using two kinds of scales absolute and relative scales an example of the former are this absolute molarity molarity number density and the latter are that is relative is scales 
are mixing ratios and mole fractions. Now, first, we, first I explain the molarity. The unit is mole per liter. The most preferred unit of expressing concentration of substances in chemistry is molarity. It is defined as the number of moles of a solute dissolved in one liter of the solution. Its unit is mole per liter or mole liter inverse. It is defined by equation 1, this equation. Molarity is equal to mass of the solute in gram divided molecular weight of the solute into volume of the solution in liter. That is very important. In many examples, in numerical problems, the volume of the solution may be given in milliliter. You have to convert into liter before applying this formula. Now there is a problem. A 100 milliliter solution was prepared by dissolving so much gram of NaCl, the molecular weight is this, in water. Calculate molarity. Now how do we calculate it? Molarity of NaCl equal to mass divided by molecular weight into volume in milliliter. This volume in milliliter has to be converted into liter. This is 0.1 liter. So this, if you calculate it, you will get 0.1 liter inverse as molarity. Molarity. In this case, instead of volume, we use solvent kilogram. It is defined as the number of moles of solute dissolved in one kilogram, one kilogram of the solvent. Therefore, the unit is mole upon kilogram as in equation 2, this one. Molarity equal to mass of solute in gram divided by molecular weight into mass of solvent in kilogram. It does not depend upon temperature. Remember this, the molarity may depend upon temperature because it has a volume. The volume of the solution may change with temperature. This must be remembered. And the problem. For preparing 0 0.01 m molar solution of NaCl, how many gram of NaCl should be dissolved in 500 gram of water? Remember, the, this is bol the molarity has to be calculated. So, to 0 0.01, this is the molarity that is. So, molarity equal to mass of NaCl in gram divided by molecular weight into molecular weight of the solvent in kilogram. Remember, this is 500 gram. Convert it to kilogram. It is 0.5 kilogram. So, if you use this, you can, cal you can get this answer. Remember, the point is the conversion of gram into kilogram is very important. Number density. The number density N is defined by the number of molecules per unit volume. This as in equation 1 equal to number of molecules of X divided by total volume of air. That is the number density. Where L is the number density of the gaseous substance X. The unit of number density is molecule per centimeter cube or molecule Cm minus 3. Number density is widely used in measuring reaction rates and optical properties of atmosphere. I may point out here, in chemistry, the rates are measured in unit of liter, mole inverse, second inverse, yeah, mole per liter per second, reaction rate, mole per liter per second. Here, instead of moles, it is the molecules which are used. And instead of volume in liter, it is Cm minus Q. We remember, the concentrations in environmental chemistry are very small. Therefore, this unit is preferred. The number of CO2 molecules in 410 to the power liter air is this much. This is given. Calculate the number density. How will you calculate it? That is the formula is the number total number of molecules of CO2 divided by total number of air. This is given here. This divided by this, this 5 into 10 to the power 11 molecule cm per cm cube. Mixing ratio. The mixing ratio is equal to the number of moles per mole of air. Number of moles per mole of air, the unit is mole per mole. So, mixing ratio total number of moles of x divided by total number of moles of air. The mixing ratio is dimensionless, dimen dimensionless quantity because remember, th this is number of moles and this is also number of moles, so the unit will cancel out. So, it will be a dimensionless quantity having no unit. The environmental science in general deals with trace amounts of pollutants in gas phase and with trace impurities in aqueous solution. It is therefore preferred to express the concentrations of trace substances in the form of parts per notation, which can be expressed by volume by volume or mass by mass. You can calculate the mass of a substance presented how much mass of the other thing or volume presented how much total volume of the system. These units are ppm, ppb or ppt are calculated volume per volume or ratio or expressed as, remember, when it is volume ratio then ppm b is written. 
PPV V is written. PPT is normally what happens in the literature. People don't write V, and people assume that it is PPM. But correct presentation is it must be written as PPMV. M is ratio mass, then it must be written as PPMM. In an environment of the amount COV one PPMV, it means that one milliliter CO is presented. One million milliliter of air. M is for billion. This M parts per billion. One billion is ten lakhs parts per notation by volume. The concentration of gaseous substances in air determined as volume by volume ratio should be expressed in parts per billion volume. PPMB parts per billion B PPMB parts per trillion PPM PPTV. Unfortunately, most often we drop. And values are written as PPM, PPB, and PPT, and sometimes this leads to confusion. Now, explanation of this PPM, E, PPT. One PPM means one unit volume of a trace substance is present in one million volume. For example, if air reported can CO be two PPM, it means two milliliter CO is present in one million milliliter of air, or two ml CO is present in one me one meter cube of air. PPV, PPV are similar meaning. The amounts of components are expressed in several units, which are all proportional to one another. For example, number of moles of a gaseous concentration are proportional to volume. Remember, for a gas equation is PV equal to n R T. Okay, n is the number of moles. If the pressure is constant, then V is proportional to n. At constant pressure and temperature, this this will vary. Number of moles of a gaseous concentration are proportional to the number of Moles, number of moles of a gas is considered proportional to the partial pressure. We got PV equal to n R T, so P is proportional to n also. So these must be understood and remembered. This, these are the similarly the other units P P M V. Likewise, the equation for the, these can be written for others also. Mixing ratio are independent of pressure and temperature. Ten molecules of L two are found in hundred. Million molecules of air. What is the concentration of NO2 in ppm? Now this is a numerical problem. NO2 in ppm b. This, yeah. Number of molecules of NO2. How much it is given? Ten. In in how much volume? Hundred will. This is hundred. Now we substitute this whole, and you get this answer. Parts per notation, mass by mass. The concentration of gaseous components can be expressed. In mass by mass or weight by weight. Remember, mass and weight in chemistry earlier used to be molecular weight or atomic weight. Now they have been dispensed with. The correct nomenclature is molar mass or atomic mass. But in literature, molecular weight and uh, atomic weight both are used. For example, parts per billion mass by mass, ppmm. Remember, this point must be remembered that here earlier we wrote ppm b because volume by unit here. Mass is unit is defined as, or it is also explained. Sometimes in some books you will find the definition of mass. You will find W that is weight, but it is the same thing. PPMM equal to mass of a constraint divided by total mass of the moles of the all the, all the constraints into 10 to the power 6. Remember, for PPM it is 10 to the power 6. This can be written similarly. Now there is a problem. 5.2 nanogram ammonia is present in 1.0 mole of air. Calculate the amount of ammonia in ppmm. Assume molecular weight of air to be 28.9 gram per mole. Solution: How will we solve it? In ppm, equal to mass of ammonia into 10 to the power 6 divided by total mass of one mole of air. Remember, it is presented one mole of air, so that's why it is one mole of air. What is the mass of ammonia? It is 5.2 nanogram. 5.2 nanogram into 10 to the power 6 upon 28.9. Nanogram is 10 to the power minus 9, so 3.2 to 10 to the power minus 8 to 10 to the power. This this comes like this, okay? 10 to the power 9 to 10 to the power 6 upon 28.9 is come to 1.107 into this mass by volume unit for trace gases in air microgram per meter cube or microgram per meter. This is this is frequently used unit. This is very popular unit in atmospheric chemistry. In air pollutants are found in small amounts only, and the frequently used unit is to express such low concentrations as microgram per meter cube. Volume of air depends on temperature, while pressure remains almost unchanged. Remember, in atmosphere, in atmosphere the pressure is almost one atmosphere. 
So there is hardly any change in pressure. So we can always assume that pressure remains constant. The volume of air depends upon the temperature. The temperature changes. It is necessary to mention environmental conditions by reporting values in microgram per meter cube. Now, this is a problem. In an air analysis experiment, and it was found to be this of air, calculate the concentration of it microgram per meter cube. Remember, in concentration in microgram per meter, mass of NO2 in microgram, divided by volume of air in meter cube. Since 1 into 10 to the power minus 6 gram is equal to 1.0 microgram and 1 0 liter is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube. So using these units, we can come out this, this answer. 1 into 10 to, power, 10 to 3 microgram per meter cube. Conversion from microgram per meter cube to ppmb. Sometimes it is necessary to convert. Actually, what happens in literature? You have different data on the error to concentrations worldwide. Some people have reported on one unit, some people have second unit, some people have third unit. How to compare them? You have to use the convergence from one unit to another to bring them in the same unit. That's why this kind of convergence are necessary. Convert, for example, convert 32.05 microgram per meter cube, SO to present in air into PP at one zero at present 27 degrees. This has to be converted. Okay? SO2 in moles equal to mass divided by molecular weight. This. And convert this into number of SO2 molecules. How will you convert number of molecules? By multiplying Avogadro's number. Moles into Avogadro's number. This is the number of moles. Next. Convert 1 meter cube of air in the number of moles using ideal gas equation. PV equal to NRT. This, this conversion is slightly involved. Number of moles of air equal to air equal to PV over RT. Pressure by atmospheric pressure. Volume is this, and this is R, 0 0.02 in atmosphere unit, and this is the temperature 300 Kelvin. We get this. So, if we carry out the calculations, we can get this answer. Convert values of air into number of molecules of air, the similar kind of thing. Mass by volume unit for aqueous media. Now, this is also a very popular unit for in water pollution, microgram per liter or ppm. PPM in aqua solutions is equal to milligram per liter. Okay? In aqua system, PPM is preferred and widely used for representing concentrations of contaminants. In environmental ecosystems, the concentrations of contaminants are generally and the solutions treated as dilute is important. So the solutions are treated as dilutes, so therefore, density of solution can be taken as one, that is density of water. In dilute solution, the concentration of dissolved solute is so small that density of dilute solution can be taken as density of pure water. Thus, the density of dilute solution will be taken as same as the density of pure water. Let there be x gram of contaminant, 1 million gram of solution. By definition, 1 ppm equal to 1 part of the solute presented 1 million part of the water as this equation. So, contaminant in ppm equal to a gram million gram of dilute solution of water. As discussed earlier, the volume of 1 million gram of water solution is equal to this, 1 million milliliter of water, because the density of 1 milliliter is mass of 1 milliliter of water is equal to 1 gram, so they can be interchangeably used. Contaminant in ppm, x gram of the solute divided by 1 million liter of dilute solution of water, x divided by 10 to the power 6. Since 1 gram is equal to 1000 milligram, so this milligram and 1 million liter equal to this, this we get this answer. In aqueous chemistry, ppm means microgram per liter. So, the dissolved amounts of solid liquids or gases in water are expressed in this unit, which is invariably expressed as ppm. For example, 6.7 ppm O2 in water means 6.7 milligram O2 is dissolved in 1 liter of water. Remember, this dissolution of water is very important whether river or sea water or lake water or pond water. One, now, there is a problem. 1 into 10 power minus 4 gram copper was determined in 1 liter of water. Calculate the concentration of copper in ppm and in millimole per liter. What will you do? In ppm, copper in milligram divided by volume in liter. That is ppm. 1000 milligram equal to 1 gram. So, so many grams equal to how many milligrams multiplied by 1000, 0.1 milligram. So, we get 
This copper and PPM equal to 0 0.1 milligram by 1 liter, that is 0 0.1 ppm. Conversion of one from one unit to another. This one. Now these are the formula, these formulas to be remembered. These formulas are to be remembered because they are they use the gas equation. Remember here. Yeah, they are based on the gas equation. So they have to be remembered for conversion. They are easily available on internet or in standard textbooks. Now the partial pressure. Now this partial pressure used in Hedy's law and elsewhere. Partial pressure, PI of a constant, is related to the total pressure by this equation. What is that equation? Partial pressure equal to PI into mole fraction of that I constant into total pressure. And how the mole fraction is calculated? The number of moles of the contaminant or substance divided by number of moles of all the other substances N1, N2, this etc. And total pressure equal to the sum of the partial pressure of individual constraints. For example, at, in the atmosphere, the total pressure is one atmosphere. This must be the sum of the partial pressure of nitrogen, partial pressure of oxygen, partial pressure of carbon dioxide, partial pressure of helium, partial pressure of argon, and trace gases. Okay? And these are the units of atmo pressure. Atmosphere pressure is expressed several units. This, 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 and maybe one or two units may be there. So in this module of on environmental concentration units, you have learned how the concentrations of trace constraints, for example, SO2, NO2, CO, hydrocarbons, etc., can be expressed, and the units are ppm, ppv, ppt. For example, ppm means one part in one million parts. That is very small constraint, one into 10 to the power minus 6. For example, one milliliter is present in 10 to the power minus 10 to the power 6 liter, that is ppm. Likewise, other units. Similarly, these units can be expressed in microgram per liter. For, at, for metallurgy, the units are of mixing ratios. Ratios of, in ratio, because concentration of one species relative to the concentration of all other species, that is mixing ratios. So, there are also some conversion units have been given, several examples have been given. If you read them carefully, you can understand the subject. Thank you.